Hey everybody, my name is Sir Crest, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to clone your main display to your Elgato HD60 Pro in order to capture your gameplay on PC. And at the same time, if you have a high resolution monitor, say 1440p in my case, 4K or even 21x9, one of those ultra wides, which was proven by an Elgato employee, you can still have your high resolution monitor running those games at those high resolutions, but your system will still send a downsampled 1080p signal to your Elgato for recording. And along with that, if your main monitor is a high refresh rate monitor, say 120, 144, or 165 hertz, you can still run your monitor at those high refresh rates, but you can still have a 60 hertz signal sent to your Elgato HD60 Pro for easy recording. And while you can technically have a high resolution and a high refresh rate running at the same time, trust me, you don't really want to try it. It's very unreliable and it would take a while to explain, maybe for a future video. But suffice to say, it doesn't work how you might imagine it. And uh, for this video, or for the purposes of this video, we're going to skip that. But that is all for the intro, let's get started. Now just to make sure the setup is clear with this, all you need is your monitor hooked up to your video card via DisplayPort, DVI, or HDMI. Theoretically, VGA should also work, but I would question you using VGA in 2016. Next, you simply run an HDMI cable from another port on your video card to your HD60 Pro. It's extremely easy to set up, and there's really no need to worry about a pass-through or the output on the HD60 Pro, since, well, it's just getting a cloned signal. I happen to be on Windows 10, but this should work just as well on Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. Firstly, right-click on your desktop and go to Display Settings. From here, check the numbers on your displays. I happen to have three monitors, but I want to clone the middle display. We can see it's named Monitor 3. The Monitor 4 over on the side is my Elgato HD60 Pro as seen by my video card. Firstly, click on Monitor 4, then head down to Multiple Displays. From there, go to Duplicate Desktop on 3 and 4. However, the monitor numbers won't be the same for you. Make sure you verify which monitors you're cloning by hitting Identify here. This will show numbers on the actual monitors in front of you to assist you. Once you select it, hit Apply. This may take up to 10 seconds to happen. Once it's applied, you are now cloned with the Elgato HD60 Pro. By default, it will go to the highest common resolution and refresh rate. In this situation, that's 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hz. To increase the resolution higher, if you have a 1440p, 4K, or maybe a 21x9 screen, click on Advanced Display Settings. From here, select the cloned monitor object. Then for resolution, you will see you can select a higher resolution. In my case, it shows my native resolution of my main monitor, 2560 by 1440. If we select that and apply, and then wait, you will now see that the resolution is much higher, 2560 by 1440. In order to increase our main monitor's refresh rate back up to where we want it, we have to abandon our higher resolution, set the resolution back to 1080p, and apply. To change the refresh rate, we select our cloned monitor object, then go down to Display Adapter Properties. Go to the Monitor tab. Inside of here, we can see the refresh rates available to us. It might default to 59 or 60 Hz, but we can set this all the way up to 165 in my case but for you, it might be 120 or 144. Hit apply and wait for it to set up. And there you go, both options. To actually set it up, it's about 30 to 45 seconds. It's really quite easy to do. Um, like I mentioned, you can do over 1080p and over 60 hertz at the same time, but like I said, it is very unreliable. It sometimes works in borderless, but not always. Uh, sometimes the game runs at the lower frame rate, like it's running at 144 hertz, but it doesn't feel like it. It's very strange. So for now, to save you the stress and uh, the confusion, I would choose whether you want to stream or record at 1080p, but a high refresh rate, or limited to 60 hertz or a high resolution. Because in all of my testing, I know that those work very reliably. Uh, anytime I try to do both, it is a nightmare <laughs> of trying it to actually work the way I want. Now, personally, I prefer higher refresh rate, so I'd probably set my clone to 1080p and 165 hertz. 
Now, if you have questions or you have issues setting this up, please uh, leave a comment on the video or contact Elgato directly. I will leave uh, information on that in the description below. And if you have ideas on what you want me to test the HD60 Pro with, let me know in the comments or on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, I do have some plans to test latency as well as compression quality and things like that. But uh, I will be getting to that in the future when I have time to work on it. And that is all for me. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and maybe give it a rating. My name is Sir Crest, and I will talk to you later.